So last week, a man from British Columbia went viral when he decided to pee on the floor in a restaurant when the workers asked him to put on a mask. So it seems like this week, anti-maskers saw what he did and they saw the commentary surrounding that viral event and they thought, you know what, we can actually outdo that. We can get crazier than that. And here we are. So I don't know what next week is going to bring in the anti-mask saga that we're seeing around the world. But uh, this week, we have uh, this entry from an anti-mask Karen who decided to cough on people in their faces in a grocery store again during a global pandemic. <laughs> That's a, um, excuse me? Excuse me. <coughs> I'm coming through. <coughs> You're so cute. She's coughing at me. She's coughing at me. No, yes. look at you guys. Yeah. You're so cute. I, okay, whatever. You're such sheep. Why don't you have a mask on? Because I don't need to have one on. I'm not sick and neither are you. Okay, but you don't have to be coughing at me. You don't know who's sick or not. <laughs> you it's allergies. my allergy. You don't have know who's allergies. sick or not by, by looking oh, at Oh, yeah, yeah. And so two years ago, before anybody started talk, talking about COVID, you were okay with that, though, going out not knowing you were sick, right? You don't know anything right? about my health. I don't. Yeah, she's coughing she's at me. Her. I have my allergies, and she got all freaked no, out does. because I'm coughing. No, she's coughing. How do you know? You don't know anything. She just said, I don't know anything about her health. You don't know anything about my health. I actually, I, maybe I have a medical. Okay, everybody. Please, I don't need to wear a mask. Okay, fine. Why don't you have a mask on? Because I don't need to have one on. I'm not sick, and neither are you. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, you got, yeah. And so two years ago, before anybody... Okay. To cough on someone during a pandemic, that is bioterrorism. That woman is a bioterrorist. So this took place in Nebraska. She knew that she was being filmed and she was so bold, so brave that she thought, you know what? I'm better than these masks. What I do, um, you know, it, it doesn't matter. There's going to be no consequences for my actions. So I'm literally going to cough in people's faces with a big smile on my face wow now you're probably thinking this lady is unreal there's no way it's going to get worse than her actually hold on because that lady is going to look sane in comparison to this man i'm sure that you've seen this by now but there was a man who was intoxicated and he's an anti-masker he was literally growling growling that's where we're at. Like, I keep joking about how we're going to reach a state where people are literally shitting themselves and frothing at the mouth when, they, when they're asked to, like, put on a mask. But it seems like we're actually, like, that's going to happen. Like, my anti-mask bingo is going to be filled in. I, I just... Just watch. Sir, are you really that shocked? You were growling on the airplane. 
You were growling. I just, I don't know what to say, folks. What do you, what do you even say to that? How do you react to that? Like if you're on an airplane or you're on a bus and you see someone literally growling, what do you, what do you even do? My instinct would be to flee, get the hell out of there because I would think that this is the start of a zombie apocalypse and that's patient zero. I just, I don't know what to do. Folks, what is wrong with the world? I just, I don't know what to say. Now, for some additional context, uh, Raw Stories John Wright explains, according to fellow passenger Dennis Bush, who filmed the meltdown, it began when the man yelled at a woman of Asian ethnicity, telling her to sit down while she was standing up to deal with a back issue, SLC's Fox affiliate reported. He then told flight attendants that the woman and the person she was with didn't belong here, the station reported. After asking him to calm down, the man went into a complete meltdown of racist, sexist, and belligerent comments, culminating in his arrest at the gate. Bush went on Instagram, We were lucky to have such a well-trained crew who kept their cool throughout the flight. So it seems like this is kind of like a combination of multiple things. I don't think you can officially file this under anti-maskers as a category i think it's part anti-masker because of what he was doing with his mask but also it's him just being like super drunk and super racist and just you know wanting to pick a fight with someone either way i mean the viral videos that we're seeing it, it truly it has me genuinely perplexed like as a fellow human being like like here's a question that i want to pose to viewers of the humanist report and I'm genuinely like curious to know what you all are going to say here. Like, is it the case that Americans have always been this stupid? Human beings have always been this stupid, but we only are learning about how stupid some people are because everyone has cell phones with cameras on them now? Or are we actually literally getting dumber as time goes on? I think it's probably a combination of both. I feel like in many ways, we are devolving as a species when you see Issues like a global pandemic become politicized. Modern medicine become politicized. I just can't not think that as a species, our standards are like deteriorating. Like we're becoming dumber, more reactionary, more conspiratorial. I don't know if this has anything to do with, you know, the rise of social media and Facebook. But either way, I would love to like go a few hundred years into the future assuming human beings survive and read what the historians say about like this moment and how insane people are uh because this is i mean this is this is the stuff that makes me feel misanthropic and i am a humanist but i mean there are little like misanthropic instincts that i feel bubble up whenever i watch things like this so either way uh, let me know what you think about this uh, i feel like it's a combination of both stupidity and just, you know, visibility of these things, but I don't know anymore. <laughs> I genuinely, I'm at a loss.